that I've seen the disintegration of the American dream and the American experience. I've seen um, not only the social and economic uh, deprivation that now exists in this country that's like what I saw in Latin America when I was a kid, and I never dreamed I'd see it in this country. 57% of Americans can't put their hands on $1,000 if they have an emergency. How scary is that? 35% of, our, our, of people in this country do not make enough money to pay for basic human needs for, for transportation, housing, and food. So they have to make choices every day. They have to listen to the baby crying in the, in the room next door and have to wonder whether that baby is $30 sick or $40 or $200 sick before they bring him to a hospital. They have to choose between heat and food, between medicine and food. I hear everything. I'm listening very closely to what you're saying, and you're saying that we can do better, and I agree with you. The only difference where we might, where we might separate here is whether or not you think it ought to be a government program. I think it's free market economies that inspire entrepreneurs and you have the freedom and the ability to bring goods and, and services to market versus, say, the government giving you your bare necessities. I mean... Yeah, of what, course. And, no, and nobody wants that. Nobody wants to live on the government dole. We don't have free market capitalism in this country. We have corporate crony capitalism. We have a... We have a, we have a, we have a system of, of cushy socialism for the super rich. This uh, brutal, a kind of brutal, savage, merciless capitalism for the poor. And it's all designed to strip mine the middle class of this country of all of their equity, all of their assets, and move it to the upper echelons. If you like this video and you want to help me become president of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com and donate now.